So menin inhibitors are uh, the newest targeted therapy that we're using in acute uh, myeloid leukemia. And I predict that uh, menin inhibitors will be used as standard uh, treatment for acute myeloid leukemia. And we're gonna see more of those either in combination or as a uh, single agent. Um, I'm gonna talk today about the future of uh, menin inhibitors. This involves uh, the genotypes that are being investigated now. So this is leukemias that have key and key 2A rearranged, re rearrangement, which is a fusion uh, that, that is usually resistant to treatment. And the most common uh, mutation in AML, NPM1, and probably some other genotypes that we're gonna investigate. Uh, probably will test menin inhibitors in combination with multiple uh, other agents, either chemotherapy or targeted therapies. What we've learned so far about menin inhibitors is that the interaction of menin and KMT2A is very important for a lot of leukemias. It may not be these drugs that we have now, it may be future drugs that target it or combination that would target it better, but this is where we're headed. Uh, sure, so for uh, the currently they're being studied in relapsed refractory leukemia and I suspect for KMT2A uh, rearranged leukemias, they would be used as single agents uh, until we have more data on combination. Uh, for MPM1, there are more options because of the co-mutation status. Um, I think when the FLT3 valiant, uh, variant allelic frequency is high, it's reasonable to uh, use a FLT3 inhibitor, even if they've been, test they've been treated with a prior FLT3 inhibitor. But if it's a FLT3 TKD or the valiant, uh, variant allelic frequency is low, or patients have had multiple uh, FLT3 inhibitors, I think the, uh, my impression based on preclinical data for now is that men, menin inhibition is the next best option.